Good morning, guys. Hey, y'all. Welcome to our Beach Body Fit family. Happy Sunday and happy weekend. Guess what, guys? Week one is done after today, <laughs> right? Um, but congratulations, guys. You've made it through one week of this challenge and one week of your program, whether you were starting fresh or starting again. It's always that really awesome sense of accomplishment when you begin something and you follow through, right? I've never been more frustrated with myself than when I begin something and I cop out in the middle because then looking back, I know I could have done better. I could have given it more. I could have just been more in control of myself. And that is always for me anyway, disappointing when I let myself off the hook. But those times when I actually follow through and I'm like, hell yeah, I did that. You know, it's like that swell of pride of making a decision, committing to the actions necessary and following through. That sense of pride and accomplishment is so much more valuable um, to you and your psyche and your confidence in yourself than really anything else. So congratulations, you guys, for sticking it out, showing it up, giving it your best this week. And I uh, just wanted to check in with you here and give you some insights for a week two as we, had, as we prepare for that and uh, what you guys should be doing today. So if you were here for the prep week, you already know, right? Sunday is really the day that you wanna take some time to get prepared for the week ahead. Um, I'll give you guys a heads up now. We're going to talk about this more tomorrow, but week two tends to be the most challenging week to stay focused and stay engaged. Just is the way it is, right? A lot of people in this challenge group, in every challenge group I've ever been in, um, it's hard to stay focused on your goals when you've lost sight of that beginning energy, like, woo, it's something new, and you still can't see quite over the horizon to the finish line yet. You're in that middle ground. Okay. And I actually heard a sermon on this not too long ago, um, where it talked about having faith for the middle, right? So that when you feel like you're in that sort of limbo, I'm, I'm going forward, but I can't see the end yet. And that high and, and fun energy from starting something new has worn off. What do you do? Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about today. First and foremost, guys, you prep, right? That's one of those ritualistic, monotonous, disciplined actions that you want to get in the habit of just sucking it up and doing every single week, whether it's a big meal prep or a little meal prep, it doesn't matter. Just do something, right? Because then you're conditioning yourself to making it a habit that you prepare for success. Okay. Um, so what I want you guys to do is I want you to look back over your meal plan that you made for last week. Again, whether it was super detailed or super simple, doesn't matter. Pick out the things that went really well. Consider repeating those or some of them, okay? Pick out the stuff that did not go well, the stuff you didn't like or resisted doing even though it was on the plan, right? On your specific meal plan. And then go back to your 21 Day Fix book, your eating book, and go, okay, what else can I do, all right? If you are struggling to figure out like what recipes to use, how to map out your day, map out your week. Um, there's a whole folder of example meal plans that you can steal and use exactly, or that you can modify. Um, last week, I just ran a quick um, free clean eating group separate from this page and uh, made a complete meal plan and recipe list and all that jazz. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to upload that into this group so that if you guys are struggling for ideas, you can literally copy that meal plan, recipe list, and shopping list and just print it out, go to the store, and you're done. Okay, trying to make this easy for you, but it's really, really key that you be prepared for success next week because you're going to have the mind game going on of keep your head in the game, keep your head in the game, keep your head in the game, and you want it to be as easy as possible for yourself to do that. All right, so me, myself, I'm headed into the last week of my cleanse. I have my handy dandy shopping list all printed out here. Uh, the highlighted things are what we actually need. There's about 20 things that they recommend you get that we don't need to get. So yay for saving money. And then in this book, in the book I'm using right right now, this is my, this is my program, different than the 21 day fix, but it's the same thing. I'm following the program. Um, I have a whole variety of funky recipes to try this week. 
So I've looked at those. I've kind of mentally gauged, okay, based on my schedule next week, um, I can do this recipe on that day. I'll have enough time. I need to move that other one around a little bit because I'm going to be strapped for time and I don't want to be caught in a pinch and be hungry, that sort of thing. So I encourage you guys to do that. Your challenge for today is post a picture of your grocery haul, post a picture of you prepping your meals, um, prepping your staples. Remember like the boiled eggs, the oats, the rices and quinoas and grilling your meats. Get all that stuff out of the way. Post a picture of your prep and uh, post a picture of your meal plan. What are you going to do food-wise this coming week? Show all that stuff to us here in the group and uh, let us help you succeed in this coming week, okay? You guys have a great Sunday. I will talk to you a little bit later on tonight. Bye.